welcome this is Ramya Murthy for Trinity Mirror News. The unique identification authority of India says Aadhaar Act forbids disclosure of core information. The unique identification authority of India told the Madras High Court that it cannot comply with the court's November 24th order to submit former Chief Minister Jailalitha's thumbprints saying there is a statutory bar on sharing core biometric information provided by those who apply for Aadhaar cards. The submission was made before Justice P. Vail Murugan, who was hearing a petition that the thumb impressions reportedly affixed by Ms. Jailalitha on the documents related to the by-election at Tiriparangundram during her hospitalization last year were not genuine. However, Jailer K. Mohan Kumar of Parapana Agrahara Prison in Karnataka submitted thumbprints whereas per the judge's directive. In order to test the correctness of the claim that Jailalitha's thumb impressions are fixed in the election documents were not genuine, Mr. Justice Vail Murugan had directed the UIDAI chairman as well as the superintendent of Parapana Agrahara Central Prison in Karnataka where Ms. Jailalitha had been lodged for 21 days after her conviction in a disproportionate assets case in September 2014 to produce her thumb impressions for cross-verification. Centre clarifies over 750 fishermen headed home. They had taken refuge in Maharashtra after Cyclone Oki. The Defence Ministry said that more than 750 fishermen from Tamil Nadu who had taken refuge in Maharashtra following Cyclone Oki are en route to Tamil Nadu. As many as 539 and 224 fishermen who had taken refuge in Devgarh and Ratnagiri in Maharashtra state respectively have been provided food, diesel and money by the state government. Meanwhile, a press release from the Indian Coast Guard said that a total of 21 ships and the five Dornier aircraft carried out search and rescue operations of Tamil Nadu, Kerala, Karnataka, Lakshwadeep and Minikoi coast. Supreme Court Denny's toddy sector interim relief from highway liquor ban. Toddy is also liquor because it is extracted, summits Kerala government. The Supreme Court denied Kerala's toddy sector interim relief from its nationwide ban on sale of liquor within 500 metres along national and state highways. To make matters worse for the toddy shop licensees and employees union, the Kerala government submitted in the court that toddy was indeed liquor. The ban has affected employees and families working in the sector. A bench led by Chief Justice of India, Deepak Mishra, meanwhile asked the state government to make its position clear in an affidavit before the next date of hearing on January 8th of 2018. We'll resume back after a break. Mm, color shirt shirt. <laughs> First impression, best impression are kono. Appo, Ram Raj White Shirt choose pannu. Yell arkom pittiko, easy a impress pannu. Kaan poor kaan kaan, unda nidu, kaadal parvai, enda nidu, un first impression. Pidichar ka? Pidichar ka. Yenakku pidichar White Shirt la, rumpa pidichar ka. Ram Raj White Shirts, get the best impression. Welcome back. Israeli airstrike wounds 14 in Gaza suffering what it described as light to moderate injuries. The Israeli army said that Israel aircraft attacked Hamas military facilities in the Gaza Strip this night in response to rocket attacks. A previously unknown Salafist group calling itself the Salahidin Brigades claimed responsibility for the first attempted attack. It was the second night of rocket fire since US President Donald Trump's statement on recognizing Jerusalem as the Israel capital. His declaration sent shockwaves through the region and Gaza's Islamist Hamas rulers called for a new Palestinian uprising. The Hamas-run health ministry in Gaza said that 14 people were wounded, suffering what it described as light to moderate injuries. Gaza security officials said that the targets were in the northern Gaza Strip. UN suffers worst Congo attack as 15 peacekeepers killed. A civilian talks to peacekeepers serving in the United Nations Organization Stabilization Mission in the Democratic Republic of the Congo patrolling during mass protests against President Joseph Kabila in the Limit municipality of the Democratic Republic of Congo's capital Kinshasa. 
MONUSCO, the UN's peacekeeping force in DR Congo, said its operating base at Semuliki, North Kivu, was attacked by suspected ADF elements. ADF are a Ugandan Muslim rebel group, one of several armed groups active in the North Kivu region. At least 15 United Nations peacekeepers were killed in the respective in the rest of Democratic Republic of Congo, officials said that in the deadliest attack in the organization's recent history. The UN Security Council said that the peacekeepers who were from neighboring Tanzania were killed in the North Kivu province late uh, recently alongside five, colon uh, five Congolese soldiers with 53 personnel wounded. UN rejects United States' uh, recognition of Jerusalem as Israeli capital. United States Ambassador to the United Nations Nikki Haley addresses the UN Security Council meeting on the situation in the Middle East, including the Palestine at the United Nations headquarters in New York, US. Ms. Haley said that for many years, the United Nations has outrageously been one of the world's foremost centers of hostility towards Israel. The United States found itself isolated at a special United Nations Security Council meeting in its recognition of Jerusalem as the capital of Israel, a move that set off alarms about the risk of escalating conflict in the Middle East. At the start of the Security Council meeting, the UN Special Envoy to the Middle East, Nicolay, sounded that alarm about the recent US decision to recognize Jerusalem as the capital of Israel. That's all for today. Thank you.